So when you're creating your content calendar, it's not haphazardly posting things, it's really having your, your marketing funnel and all of your products and services fit into this strategy that you're now going to create and translate it into a visual, um, visual content, visual content, copy, hashtags, so that you get people to that place. You know, I'm, I'm telling you about this event, but I want you to go there, but why do I want you to go there? Like, what are the benefits for you, and what's the next step after you go to that event? Like, how am I gonna take you through our social media relationship so that we can be lifelong, you know, client, customer, partnership? And then we can discuss what your business is, what your goals are, and if I can help you get there. You know, Bill asked me to work with four to five companies, and I won't work with companies if I don't think that they're a good fit. If I'm like, okay, that's not something that I can strategize on, or, you know, I want to work with people that are really passionate about what they do. Tell the story. And that's like, so when people are doing too much salesy things, they're not gonna, especially on Instagram, people aren't gonna follow you. Because it's this visually inspired thing. Like, people want to see this content. If you notice any of the really big top bloggers, they're like overly stylized, like the same um, filter, you know, the same colors, it's super stylized. What about this one? Okay, it's coffee shop, yeah, exactly. Who do we think that, where do we think this is? Who do we think that they're targeting? Vegans. Somerville and breakfast. Somerville breakfast, yeah. Vegans. So she says Somerville. It's actually a coffee shop in Brooklyn. Beverly Meats in here. You want to drive preference and differentiation. Like I said, you know, I've met probably 20 other people today that do one of the things that I do. Um, and you all know that there's tons of people that are doing what you do, but what is going to make you different and better and stand out and have excellent customer service? You want to increase traffic and sales to your websites, you want to build your email list, you want people interacting with you on social media, you want to build loyalty and deepen relationships. So even though it's virtual, I've had relationships with people on social media and those become my friends, my clients, they refer other clients to me. So fostering those relationships can be part of like your lead generation. So increasing referrals, gaining insights. So it's really important for you to see, track your analytics, measure your results, all of this kind of stuff, and see what you can do differently, as well as look to see what your competitors are doing. Like I look at my competitors all the time, and I'm like, oh, that's a great idea, but I, can, I should do that, and then do add this, this, and this, because that would make it so much better, because they forgot to put this part. And so you guys can take a look at what your competitors are doing and kind of create something that's authentic to you, your brand, and your voice.